of Chegg taking a hit today. They're down about 10 percent. Despite a big earnings beat, the company's guidance also coming in higher than expected and subscriber growth surged 69 percent. Chegg CEO Dan Rosenzweig joins us now for an exclusive interview off earnings. Dan, it looked pretty strong to me. 64 percent revenue growth. Digital education we know is very hot. Describe what you saw and, and why you think the stock is down more than 10 percent. I guess I guess a few hundred points percentage point run up is a good context. Yeah, look, I mean, there are very few companies that are growing 64 percent revenue year over year. I mean, this is our seventh year anniversary of being public in two weeks from now. So very few companies get older and accelerate their growth. So we're growing at 64 percent, 69 percent subscribers, as you said. Our EBITDA is growing 84 percent year over year. Um, and we're one of the few companies that not only gave guidance for Q4, which was up guidance, but actually had the confidence to give guidance for 21, you know, well in advance. And that guidance is also, as you noted, higher than of people. So uh, had expected. So I think this is a matter of we're up 100 and something percent for the year and people are taking profits and good for them. We're happy when people make money off our stock. But the growth of the company is just extraordinary right now. Our team is executing brilliantly. And we just we honestly feel like there's a whole new set of opportunities that are opening up to companies like Chegg, and we plan to take advantage of them. So we're very excited about the future. Yeah, I want to hear about where the demand is coming from. How much of it is, is it teachers or students getting extra help on their homework that are already learning at home? Or are you actually providing that curriculum for students that have to go digital? Yeah, so Chegg does two things extraordinarily well, and one of them is absolutely unique to Chegg, which we invented, which was sort of online, on-demand, um, highly valued homework help. So we help high school and college students really master their subjects. We can do it at scale and uh, very affordably for students and have 90% gross margins on that product. So we're seeing demand for students who need more help go up dramatically. In the U.S., Coincidental with COVID was the fact that we had been working on um, uh, account sharing efforts because for every one student that was paying for Chegg, two were using Chegg. So not a good, not a great business model. We were still growing at over 30 percent, but we've been working on that. When COVID came and students had to leave campus, it was much harder for them to share. We've been the beneficiary of that. We built all the technology now to block it. And so that's why even when they went back, back to campus, the growth rate even accelerated even more. The really exciting thing, though, was outside the United States, which is we'd been preparing for years. We built the content, built the service, built all the commerce things. But when they were uh, forced to leave campus, they discovered Chegg for the first time. And so our international growth rates are um, at a level that even we didn't anticipate. And on top of that, we're now in 190 countries. So people think it would be really expensive because they compare us to Netflix. We don't have to build content the way Netflix does. We can do it with the same gross margins that we have in the United States. Second, people thought we could only do it in English-speaking countries because it's an English-speaking product. Turns out we can do it in 190 countries. So it's really direct to student, um, really, really, really overwhelming value for the student. It helps them with homework help. And the other side of the business is the fact that there's a real you know, reckoning now of the fact that we need to accelerate learning to earning, and that's what our Thinkful business does. It teaches you skills that get you high-paying jobs. And so... Both of them are growing much faster than we ever anticipated. And now we think the market is bigger than we ever thought it would be. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.